Recently, I had several of you ask, Melissa, how in the world do I pick out the right foundation for me? And it is really hard to do when it's online, right? Well, we're gonna get into showing you the difference between neutral, warm, and cool. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna swatch a bunch of foundations, a few eyeshadows, so that hopefully you will be able to understand what the difference is and what might be the best for your skin. Let's get into that video right now. Bear with me friends, this is a topic that can get very confusing, but I'm going to try and make it as easy as possible and try to lay this bag of snakes out straight. <laughs> We're going to start with what is warm. A warm is a very orange undertone, a very yellow undertone. So we have the color wheel that we look at and we have these opposite colors. You know, our primary colors are yellow, red, and blue. Blue is your cool tone. Yellow is your warm tone. Red can be both because it can have a little bit of yellow or a little bit of blue in it. Like I said, blue is cool. Yellow is definitely warm. I'm going to show you the two warmest foundations I have in my makeup. This one is from LA Colors and this, I'm sorry, this is from LA Girl. And this one you can see right off the bat, hopefully you're going to be able to see that that is very orange on my skin or very yellow on my skin. And then also this one, this L'Oreal Infallible, this one is the same thing. One looks a little bit darker, but still I would have to color correct that one in order to be able to wear it because myself, I am very cool toned. Now you might be asking, why aren't you starting out there? I'm going to leave below a video on how you know whether or not you are cool toned, neutral, or warm. And it's a pretty easy video where you just walk through a few things, but that will make I will make sure that that is linked below for all of you so that you can see that. Now I'm going to show you the exact opposite, which is cool. The, these two are my my most cool foundations. They're also very light compared to these other two, but I think you're going to get the idea of what they are. Now this one right here, you can see that is it's light, but it really kind of blends in with my skin well. That one is the best skin ever from Sephora. I'll have all these colors down below of what I'm doing. And then this one is the Lift and Luminate from number seven. And you're going to see that that is even more so cool toned. So you're having really cool tones over here. They are blue based or they are pink based. Now that you will see when you're looking up foundations, you will see them say 13N or 13P or 13W. 13W means it's 13 warm. 13P means it's 13 pink or cool or 13N means it's 13 neutral. So you can tell from these two, we're talking about warm and we're talking about cool over here. Now, I will have to say that the next part was the hardest to find something that is right in between the two that is easy for you to see because this can be hard to figure out, you know, what is very neutral. But this one is the EXA foundation and I don't have my glasses so I can't see exactly what that says. I got it off of Sephora, or I'm sorry, I got it off of Ulta. And so this one, it's right in between. It has a mix of both. You can see that you can see a little bit of, of the warmth in there, but you can see a little bit of the cool in there and they balance each other out. So that is probably my perfect neutral color right there. Warm, cool, neutral. I hope that makes sense. You're looking, if you're neutral toned, it, meaning if you can lean a little bit cool, but you can lean a little bit warm also, you're right in between, you could wear something like that. If you're definitely got a warm undertone, you have olive skin, you have deeper skin that leans more yellow or more orange, you're gonna wanna go warm. If you are lighter skin, it usually goes very cool, although there are some very dark skinned people that have to have a very cool undertone because their undertone is a little bit ashy. And so I hope that you can see what I'm talking about with that. That one is the basics on how to choose. Now, if you're looking for, you know, light, medium, dark, that's a whole other thing. And I'm the palest of the pale. So I usually go fair light, just so you know, um, in the summertime, I can go up to light medium, but I don't ever go beyond that because my skin is very, very pale. Now, let me just demonstrate that same thing with some palettes for you. And we're just going to take the basic browns. I'm using the Lust for Dusk palette and the new classics from e.l.f. Just going to take these. We're going to go in. We're going to look for what is a warm, 
What is a neutral? What is a cool? Now, as I'm looking directly at this, I can tell you right now that this is a warm brown. And it is, it's a pretty brown. I like it, but when I get to wearing it, it looks very orange on my eyes. So I'm gonna swatch that one for you and show you how warm of a brown that is. So very warm toned. Can you see the undertone of it is orange? It's, if you kept going, you would feel like it was getting more and more orange on you. And then I wanna go ahead and find something neutral. I don't feel like this one has it, but I do feel like the e.l.f. one does, and that one's right there. And so I feel like that is a very neutral brown. And as I shear that out you're, a little bit, you're gonna see that yes, it does have a little bit of the orange underneath it, you can tell, but it, at the same time, it's really leaning that beautiful cool toned. Now, in back to the Lust for Dust palette, and I'm gonna go into this brown right here, which really has a very gray, taupey undertone to it. And I'm gonna swatch that one for you. Probably gonna have to build that one up quite a bit so you can see because it's not quite as deep as the other ones but hopefully you're going to be able to see this is neutral because it's not very cool very blue very gray it's not warm it's not orange it's not got that that burnt orange characteristic to it but it's just right in between so that is the way you tell cool neutral warm i hope that that makes sense i hope that that's easy to see another great way to see this is in pinks i'm going to demonstrate that too because remember i said um, red which is a darkened pink can be leaning towards warm the yellow because they have more yellow in it or it can be leaning towards blue it can have more blue into it i'm going to take this color right here in the magic palette from juvia's place it is a metallic but i'm going to put it right down the middle of my hand because i feel like it is a very neutral pink it does have hopefully you're going to be able to see that i know it's a reflect i wish that i could have found one that wasn't but this is was the best one so that pink has a little bit of orange in it but it has a little bit of blue in it and it's the perfect example of not being too much either way but then i am going to grab my lilac you a lot palette there's a color right up here in the corner that's a pink you can tell that it looks like pink instead of all of the lilac colors and when i saw this i'm like that's not purple that's pink well it is a blue pink so you're going to be able to see that it is that really pretty casting towards the blue side of red and into the norvina palette right here this is a very very warm pink and although it is pink it definitely has the undertones of orange in it we have three different kinds of pink here we have the pink that has the definite orange we have the pink that can go either way it has a little bit of pink in it it has a little bit of orange in it and then we have the pink that goes all the way over to the blue that is a pink blue color most definitely hopefully between these swatches the brown swatches and the foundation you kind of get a feel for what is neutral cool and warm i hope that that did help you please let me know any questions you have in the comment section if you'd like to kick around anything the other thing is if you don't know what your skin tone is please go over and watch that video it does have you a way, a way for you to test what your skin tone is i'll make sure that that is linked for you guys Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. I hope that you did enjoy it. Please stay happy, stay healthy, and I will catch you all in my next video. Love you much. Bye-bye, my friends.